Welcome back to the channel everybody. Martin here. Today we're going to be adding on to our existing raised bed garden that we have behind me here. I went to the lumber yard this morning and got five 2x8x16s and two 2x4x8s. Um, we also got some compost and some additional soil with uh, fertilizer already added into it. I have around the edge of the field uh, berms from when the farmer pushed back the field years ago and I'm going to put the majority of the soil in from those piles that we have behind behind the camera here and off on the edge of the woods. So let's get started on getting these things built and uh, through the process I'll show you how I'm doing it. These are relatively simple to build but the final product is going to be four feet by 16 feet eight uh, seven and a half inches off the ground and I put two by fours in at six foot in from each end down at the bottom to keep the boxes from spreading. And I'll show you how I do that here in a minute. But let me go get the tools set up and then uh, I'll be back with you in a minute. I got all my tools out of the barn. I set two two by eight by sixteens up on the sawhorse and the two two by four by eights here. So the boxes, as you can see behind me, are, are in fact 16 feet long. This timber actually is 16 feet 1 inches long. The 2x4s are not exactly 8 feet long, so when it comes time to cut these, you, you really want to make sure that you cut them at 8 foot so that you don't exceed the sides of the box because they're going to be literally 4 feet wide. So what I've done here is I've come over, I've split the 16 foot distance by 3. Put a, I'm going to put a 2x4 here, notch it into the two by eight and I'm going to nail it up this way so it doesn't spread on its own under the weight of the dirt. I did the same thing over here. I marked out a three and a half or three and five eighths actually by one and five eighths uh, notch here and a two by four is going to sit between these two timbers. So let me cut these and then uh, I'll do the same thing for two more and then I'm going to cut one of the two by eight by sixteens into uh, four four foot sections that'll fit across the ends. We want to make sure that when we nail those end pieces on that we actually nail into the to the end grain of the 16 foot long so that it helps keep the box from spreading apart. And I'll show you more about that here in a second. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a jigsaw and I'm just going to cut these notches out so the two by fours can fit uh, securely in here. So now these are cut, I'm going to do the same thing to the other two, but before I do that, I'm going to cut these two by fours to four foot lengths. If you don't cut them at four feet, they're going to be protruding out the side. Now I'm going to take these and set them on the ground. My dad always told me never leave a square on the ground. Good advice. You'll step on it. Then it won't be so square anymore. We're going to be doing the same thing with these two by. Do you remember what the dimension was? How are we doing? Doing all right. We're following along. You know, this is a pretty simple project. And of course, you can make these boxes to any dimension you want. They don't have to be 16 feet long. You can make them smaller. And if you want to go higher, you can. Just have more dirt to put in there. So what was that dimension? Five feet, four inch center dimension. Go out one and seven eighths from the center dimension. Take the square that you have not sitting on the ground and bring those dimensions across. You don't need a jigsaw to do this. You can do it with a circular saw. Obviously, unplug your saw. You have your inch and a half or inch and five eighths mark right here. You simply sit this up here, release the lever here, and set the saw to one and a half inches. Stand it up and just make a bunch of cuts. So now we have the two side walls done. I have to cut the 
remaining 2 by 8 16 into 4 foot widths and that will form the ends. There will be 4 pieces, 2 boxes, 4 4 foot pieces. 4 foot right on the mark because you know the saw blade is about an eighth of an inch so if you just measure four feet four feet four, you're going to go out to you're going to be shy Ooh, see this the square is laying right below where this is going to fall let's not do that we have the four foot by 16 foot boxes laid out here the notches we just cut, we're going to position them so they're facing up so that when we put the 2x4 across there, obviously they're exposed and you can just nail straight down into the 2x8. So let me stand these up. And then, oh, by the way, before we start doing that, I'm using a nail gun. It's a pass load master plus is what they call it. I've had this for years. Uh, you can screw these, not a problem. This is a little faster. You need to put this two by eight on across, the, you know, butt it up this way, not inside, because the weight of the dirt is going to be pushing against the larger member here, and it might push it out. So if you have it like this, the nails will keep it from going out that way. So kind of important. Safety first. Flush them up. Keep your hands away from, there's a knot right here. You shoot right here, it's gonna hit the knot and come up and hit your fingers. So we don't want that. This one's a little low. Go down here and knock these out. All right, see how fast that was? Now we take these two by fours, set them in here, nail one flush to the outside, and then pull, because we know this is four feet, we made sure, and that's four feet, so we want to pull these in, make them flush. Do the same thing here. Flush it on the outside. You notice two by fours below the surface of that. Here, so it's not sticking down. So we did okay there. Pull this in. Flush it up. Okay, done. So, as you can see, that's relatively easy. Um, so what will I do now is flip it over and then I'm going to put it four feet from those three boxes over there and square up the end, the old eyeball. Or you can draw a string out if you want. Now this is a little heavier. Almost. I got it a little too close. We'll take a dimension. I got to drag it that way. I'm going to be four feet. That's about four feet. Four feet. Ooh, look at a nail stuck out there. Misfire. Fixed. Got to come this way. Ooh. 
Ooh, right at four feet. Hmm. This looks a little longer. Yes. It is. Four feet. Right at four feet. Give it the old Kentucky windage here. Yes. Yes. Pretty sure Kentucky windage means something else, but you know what I mean. Line it up. There it is. There's the first one. One more to go. So what I'm gonna do now is go to the field edge and you can see it over here. There's some mounds of dirt around the edge of the field that I'm just gonna scoop up. And you can see over here, the tractor's warming up. If you look over this way, you can see the planter boxes that I built earlier. So I just got the tractor put back. It's getting dark as you can see, but if you look over here, a very pretty sunset tonight. So if you like these kind of videos, please let me know in the comments below. Until next time, take care and uh, please hit subscribe, tell your friends, and all the best. Bye.